Normally when you get the stage in Flash, you don't realize that it's actually a layer. If you click on the Timeline button there, you see that we have got one layer. In previous tutorials we've shown how you can hide a layer so that it can't be seen by clicking there under the eye. Put a little cross on it. You can lock a layer by clicking under the padlock, which will prevent you from moving any objects on that layer. Or you can make a layer in outline. We did that in the tutorial on perspectives. Add a new layer by that little button there on the on the left, and add another one, and it gives the layers names: layer one, layer two, layer three. You can change those names later. If we click on layer three and put a shape on it, it's always best to keep your shapes on separate layers. You can do different animations with them. Then click on layer two and let's draw a circle this time on layer 2 and change its color so that we can distinguish it a little more easily and there you've got the two now you can remember you can hide layers let's see the effect when you do if we click on layer 2 there and hide it by clicking on the eye, you see the circle disappears, so we can't see it anymore. If we take that off again, we can see the circle. Now, hiding layers can be very useful in animations. Now, we could also lock that layer, which means then, as you can see, we can't move the item that's on it, the circle. So we'll unlock it again. And let's see what happens now if you draw a couple of shapes and you forget to put them on layers. So we'll draw a rectangle and then we'll draw another rectangle forgetting to put them on separate layers. And then we'll decide later, oh dear, we did want to put them on separate layers but it's not the end of the world. Simply highlight them both and then go to Modify, Timeline and Distribute to Layers and you'll see what it then does is it puts in some extra layers up here and it puts those two rectangles on separate layers. Now you can always tell which layer on when you click on an object the layer becomes highlighted up at the top there, the layer that it's actually on. Each of those rectangles or the circle you can very easily find which layer it's on. If we try hiding some again you see the effects rectangle disappears, another one squared, another rectangle disappears and circle disappears and you can bring them all back as you wish.